crowdfunding appeal has started for a commemorative board to be put up on Cannock Chase, marking the contribution of soldiers from New Zealand to the Allied forces in the First World War. For more, let's cross to Kevin Reid now live on Cannock Chase. Kevin, what were these Kiwi men doing on the chase all those years ago? Well, Joe, they were training on the tra chase. There were about 3,000 of them, and some of them would have slept in these living quarters. This is a recreation known as the Great Hut that's here. And now the chase want to remember those men and their contribution to the war effort. Well, I'm joined by Ian Dent, who's from the Chase Project. Ian, you want to build this memorial, don't you? Can you describe to us what it would be like? Yeah, there'll be an inf information board placed on top of a metal plinth, and the information board tells us the history of the New Zealand Rifle Brigade on the chase. The metal plinth will have the iconic New Zealand fern put into it and it, that in itself is made up of soldiers marching into the distance with their reflection in, in water so it, together that makes the iconic New Zealand fern. I'm also joined here by Stephen Dean who is an archaeologist from Staffordshire County Council. Stephen you can't underestimate the contribution that uh, New Zealand men made in the war effort can we? You can't really. If you think New Zealand at the time was a relatively small population of about 1.1 million people, um, about 10% actually served in the forces during the Great War, and out of that number, about 18,000 actually lost their lives. So um, they were on the chase for quite some time as well over during the course of the, the war, weren't they? They were training from uh, roughly around September 1917 through till about 1918, then finally left the chase to go back home in 1919. But, uh, yeah. And ironically, 74 of those men lost their lives, not through conflict, but through Spanish flu. There was an outbreak towards the end of the war, and it wiped out many, many men. There is a crowdfunding appeal underway, as you say, and they're hoping to raise £11,000 over the course of the next month. Kevin Reid, thank you.